Welcome to Module 5, Lesson 4. Let's get started. Today we will be learning how to represent and identify fractional parts of different wholes. We are learning this so that we can understand fractions as equal parts of a whole. And we'll know that we're successful when we can write a fraction as a part of a whole. Let's look at the fractional units. Halves, thirds, fourths, fifths, sixths, sevenths, eighths, ninths, and tenths. This rope represents a whole figure. If we snipped the rope in the very middle, we would create two equal halves. Each part is one half. Here's another whole figure. This is a cup filled with water. The whole thing is one whole. If we separated the water into two cups equally, each cup would have one half. Here's a whole figure. The clock represents one whole hour. If the minute hand is half past, it would be right in the middle, pointing down at the six. So each clock is showing one half hour. Here again are the unit fractions. One half, one third, one-fourth, one-fifth, and one-sixth. They're partitioned into equal parts, and they're modeled with a picture. Here are more unit fractions. One-seventh, one-eighth, one-ninth, and one tenth. Write a fraction for the shaded part of the figure. This figure has three equal parts. The unit fraction for each part is one third. One part is shaded. There are three equal parts. One part is shaded. The fraction 
for the shaded part is one third. So as you can see, I drew a tape diagram for my model. I partitioned into three equal parts and I labeled one part that is shaded as one third. Then I wrote a complete sentence to answer the question that says there are three equal parts. One part is shaded. The fraction for the shaded part is one third. Let's check my answer. The shaded part is one third because there are three parts and only one part is shaded. Okay, now it's your turn to do the redraw right question on your own. We'll read it together, then you'll pause the video, make your own drawing using paper and pencil, or if you have access to a Jamboard, you can do that too, or even a whiteboard with a dry erase marker. When you're done with your answer and you're satisfied with your sentence, you can look in the, in the description box below and check your answer against the correct answer. Okay, it says write a fraction for the shaded part of the figure. Do your very best work, and I'll see you in the next lesson.